if there's one tool in my arsenal that I do have in my garage that I really love, it'd be this one here. That's my power drill from Black & Decker. Um, this does everything for me, uh, you know, as, as far as what a power, power drill can do. Uh, it's got a lot of good power to it. It comes with one of these universal batteries that can be interchanged out with a lot of the other type of uh, Black & Decker powered tools. But yeah, you can tell him since the amount of uh, power it has here. It does come with a charger for the battery, so if it's, you know when it does need a good charge, which with this battery and this power tool, it's you know the charge isn't that often for me uh, because it holds really well. And then these drill bits don't come with it, but I collected drill bits over time to help with the various uh, you know type of screwing needs that I need. But um, you know, a couple things to note: there's you know reverse versus going forward, and then to loosen it, what I like to do is either just manually unscrew it, but if you hold it tight and then have it in the right position, you can just turn it on ever so softly and it pops out. And then to put it back in, put it back into the slot here, push this in, again, hold this, hold this part here tightly and just go soft. And it's right in there. But yeah, uh, I think one other feature that's not used as often, um, especially for someone who's new to this, is the torque. So it goes from like, a one setting, which is low, all the way up to a 10 setting, which is over here. And you'll see there's a little marker there to tell you there. There's also this guy here, this pre-drill. So you just wanna poke, poke a hole in the wall, this is the setting to use. But you know, the higher the torque will be number 10 and lower the torque number one. But yeah, this is an awesome, awesome power drill that I use here and will have for many more years to come. Thank you, Black & Decker. Enjoy everyone.